Right. Um, following on from the uh, the highest possible Wesley Richards uh, air pistol, what I've got here now are two pistols that were made um, by Ackles and Shelvoke. Um, <clears throat> again, another British air gun manufacturer. Um, one of them is pre-war and one is post-war. And the first one, the earliest one, is this pistol. And this is the Ackles and Shelvoke Warrior. And it's uh, both of them are concentric pistols. So the barrel runs down the centre of the cylinder. And this one is a side lever. And this one, the uh, Ackvoke, has a somewhat more unusual cocking mechanism. That will show you. But we'll deal with this one first. So this is a Warrior. Um, these were made before World War II, and this is a 177 one. I think there may have been a couple made that were 2 2, but um, most of them were 177. And again, another incredibly solid pistol. Very, very solid. These things are heavy, rattle free, solidly machined pistols really really top top quality make today's pistols look like cheap garbage so uh, patented by uh, Frank Clark it's pattern numbers there British and the USA one Bakelite handles with uh, a little knight on the grips on both sides and on this side you've got the warrior uh, made by Ackles and Shelvoke in Birmingham and as I say, this is a side lever, so what you do, you push that little latch there that retains it. And there's the barrel, as you can see, runs concentric down the middle of the uh, the cylinder. Um, pretty much a non-adjustable rear sight, really. Um, and like I say, side lever action, so I'll just cock it and show you, put the shot off. Just bear with me a second. I'll just show you the the cocking action on the Akvoke is really unusual. So you have a lever at the back here, and then basically that comes down. And you cock it like that. Really unusual. Pellet goes in the back. Close it up. And that acts like a retrain a restraining strap. The warrior is lower powered um, than the Akvoke, which is really actually quite a powerful pistol. Even now, this is quite a powerful pistol. Probably more powerful than a Webley Temp well, definitely more powerful than a Webley Tempest. This packs a fair old whack, fair dues. Whereas the Warrior is a slightly lower powered pistol than it even was at the time. I say this one still shoots well, it's pretty accurate considering it's got fixed sights, you obviously have to allow off. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. This one comes in um, a reproduction box that I've got for it. Um, it's an exact duplicate of what you would have got, but it's a repro box. And the inside shows you how to cock it. It comes with some warning labels. So. They were quite unusual, really, the Warriors, because they did have quite a bright and colourful uh, box 
for the time when most air pistol boxes were fairly dull really and just showed a picture of the pistol against a fairly dull background but the warrior has got quite an interesting quite bright cheerful box really so really nice as you can see properly engineered everything's steel again turn steel nice pistol uh, the Akvok, slightly different, like I say. Again, same sort of thing, same concentric design. Another Frank Clark design. Um, made by Ackles and Shellvok again. And this was their later one. It's not perhaps quite as well made as the uh, as the Warrior. But again, everything still, you know, solid. Really interesting and solid pistol. This cocking mechanism quite unusual the way that comes down it's a bit like the uh, the tell pistols so very nice accurate and powerful pistol this one this one has got slightly adjustable sights you can adjust the sights on this one um, they cant off to either side and up and down slightly by undoing that screw and you can move the sight blade around slightly on the back, as you can see, probably Ackles and Shellvoke and the pattern, and again Birmingham, England. This is an original box, um, an original Ackles and Shellvoke Ackvoke box. It's fairly plain, to be honest. I think probably would have had. Um, Partitioning bits inside to stop the pistol rattling around that they long on. So yeah, and this one's again in very, very good condition. But these were pre-war ones. These were made up to the 50s. So another nice pistol. And powerful. This one is a powerful pistol. And again, heavy, solid. So heavy and solid. It re They really do make modern air pistols feel like toys yeah they do they make the uh, modern air pistols feel like toys these things were made to last which they have done you know that's pre-war and that's just after the war and yet look at them they still look pretty damn good they still shoot well and reasonably accurate and prime examples of when um, British industry and British air gun manufacturers were uh, leading the field, really. We definitely made some of the best air pistols going. They were just so well made, so well engineered. Um, it's a shame, really, what's happened. Right. Thanks for watching.